Hi everyone and welcome to my Thank Card It's Friday series. Today we'll be making this triangle card where it opens up like that. It's a fairly simple card but it's actually a little bit of a wow card. Okay, so what we'll be doing is we'll be starting off with very vanilla cardstock and it's a 10.5 by 3.5 inch strip and it's scored at three and a half on both ends and then I've scored it from the corner okay so the top left corner to the bottom right and then you fold the triangles in okay so looking at this card I will fold that back like that and then I will fold this side back like that. Okay, so using some DSP and my snail. Now this square piece is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And it's from the Jolly Holiday. Card. I'm just centering it down like that. And then also, this is what's going to go in the middle. But before I adhere that down, I am going to stamp my sentiment in Old Olive. This DSP actually matches um, Old Olive and Cherry Cobbler, my favourite Christmas colours. Now the stamp sentiment I'll be using in the middle here, May Your Season Be Blessed With All Things Bright and Beautiful, is from the new Beautiful Season stamp set. This is new in this catalog. So I'm going to be using the D clear mount block and just getting that inked up and just centering it there like that. Now I could adhere that down. Like that and then I'm just going to put that in the center like that. Okay. Okay, now using the same DSP, cut it three and a quarter again, just like that one there. I've cut it in half and I'm going to use it on the panels on the outside of the cut. So I'm just going to put it on this bit here. piece like that. Now you can see, start seeing the card starting to form. Just crease that edges like that. Okay, so for the top sentiment here, now I've used two stamp sets. I've used Contempo Christmas. I've used the Christmas tree and from the holiday greetings I've used the Sincere Salutations. This is an oldie but a goodie. So I'll be taking that one out and the tree. Okay. Like that. Okay. And if you have a look closely at the texture, it's actually with the lattice embossing folder. That's being done. Okay, so bring back the old olive for the Christmas tree. like that and using the holiday greeting sentiment cherry cobble on top like that okay so I'm going to put that down onto the old olive cardstock oh what am I doing okay put that down first Okay, 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that through the lattice embossing fold and I'll come straight back. Okay, so I've put that through the square lattice and fold, um, embossing folder and then sticking a rhinestone at the top of the Christmas tree. Now, to get this right, all I've done is I've put dimensionals on the top corner of that. I've just got to get my dimensionals out. Now I'm going to use some of my corners of my dimensionals. Just so I can get some good coverage. Like that. It's another way to use up your corner pieces of your dimensionals. I keep them in a separate container. So that way you're not wasting anything. So I've just put that in the corner. Let me check that center. No. So I'm going to... Hope I didn't ruin it. See, we all make mistakes. Okay. So I'm going to put that like that. Now that looks better. Okay. So using Cherry Cobbler Seam Binding new to Stampin' Up! This catalogue, I'm going to measure it. Okay, so then I will put some snail only on the back of this card. So just on the back, like that. And that way it can go under this and then you can tie it into a bow. Okay. And just adjust the bow accordingly. And there you have it. Your triangle cut. I hope you enjoy. It's another way of another card fold. I'll be introducing you to you some fun fold cards. So I hope you like this one. And you can check out my blog at any time at joherbert.com. Thanks for watching.